This episode is brought to you by Kia's first three-row all-electric SUV. The Kia EV9. With available all-wheel drive and seating for up to seven adults. With a zero to 60 speed that thrills you one minute. And available reclining lounge seats that unwind you the next. Visit kia.com slash ev9 to learn more. Ask your Kia dealer for availability. No system, no matter how advanced, can compensate for all driver error and or driving conditions. Always drive safely. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the T Moss Boss Show. And in today's episode, overall, like, I, I was going to do this uh, podcast episode on, like, people, like, sneak promoting their um, stuff. But the thing is, it's like I find myself talking on, like, people that want to promote their music. Because I feel like that's, like, the number one thing that I've dealt with as a content creator. Like, overall, I will be, like, talking on, like, other things. But just, you know, I will. All right, so the episode will be titled, like, Sneak Promoting. But I will be using music, like, primarily as an example. But I will talk on, like, other, you know, like, the other encounterments I've had with people, like, trying to sneak promote their stuff. So, anyways. um, But, yeah, overall, you know, welcome to another episode of the T-Moz Boss Show. And in today's episode, I will be talking on Sneak Promoting. What is sneak promoting? Sneak promoting is pretty much what a person will try to like find a sneakier way of promoting their work. So like overall, like, you know, for an example, uh, you know, with Twitch, there, there will be people out there that will just join your streams and just, you know, um, will post their emotes. They won't have like nothing else to say. They will only promote their emotes. So like, let's say for an example, you could be talking about... Uh, you know, the, the freaking, the rise and fall of Tesla or whatever. I don't know. I mean, I don't think Tesla is like failing as a company, but let, let's just say, uh, Tesla was failing as a company and you were talking about that in your streams. So everybody else in your stream, right? You guys are all talking about the rise and fall of Tesla, right? And then somebody will join your stream and then just only post their emotes. So, like, overall, like, so, for an example, it's like, oh, yeah, the rise and fall of Tesla, I guess they had to, you know, it all started with Elon Musk um, not giving them enough pay to his workers and things. So, everybody in the chat would be all like, you know, oh, yeah, it's like he, you know, yeah, I, I did hear about that. It's crazy. It's some wild stuff. And everybody's talking like that, right? And then there's that one person that's promoting their emotes where they only will use emotes to respond to what you just said. And, it, and you see that, and it's like... I don't know how that's a legitimate response to what I had just said, but, like, that ain't gonna slide, okay? Like, you're promoting, like, I see what you're doing, and you're promoting your stream, but it's like, fam, if me, if we're not talking on, like, dope, like, emotes and all that stuff, like, if it ain't a stream where it's, like, come through, promote your emotes, whatever it is, fam, what makes you think that we're all we're all having this conversation about Tesla and you just came up and just started promoting your emotes. What does that have to do with the conversation? Like honestly, cuz that that's like that's one thing that I, I like so all right, so it it did happen to me not too long ago where a person he only would join my stream to promote his emotes, right? And that's something where it's all like, you know, I've, I've talked with it with other streamers and they're all like, yeah, you know, if they're using their emotes like along with a, you know, something that they're saying to you, then that's one thing. But if they're using their emotes just and they like they don't ever talk in your stream and they're on and the only time when they do talk, they're only there to promote their emotes. Like, nah, fam. So, like, they, we, we all agreed saying, like, no, that's not cool. Like, you know, like, no, that person's going to get banned. So I did ban the guy. Then the guy, I remember he sent a, a unbanned request talking about why was I banned. It's like, do, it, like, do I honestly have to tell you? Like, it's stuff like that where it's like, fam, don't don't play that dumb act. Like, oh, well, why would, what did I do? What did I, I ain't do anything wrong. No, yeah, you just only would come to my stream just to promote yourself. Yeah, I'm not there for that. So anyways um but no like i i would uh see things like that i see things like that in my stream i see things like that in other people's streams and it's stupid it's like fam if nobody's not joining your streams this is why you're only like you're only joining other people's streams to promote yourself but you have nothing to offer stream all the time play like a bunch of wild different video games give people a reason to join your stream but p- promoting yourself and you have nothing to show for that's like promoting a carnival with no rides or promoting a movie theater with no movie th- uh, movies in it or promoting a restaurant with no food or promoting a grocery store and you ain't got no groceries in it are you really gonna 
show love and support to that place. Like, honestly, sit down and think about it. Like, sit sit down and just think about this real quick, all right? Now, there is some store. They just handed you a flyer. You're like, I don't want to be handed no flyer. I'm out, I'm out and about trying to mind my own business, right? And, th- and these people just handed you a flyer to go to some store. You go to that store. There's absolutely nothing there. Absolutely nothing. And it's like, and fam, it's like, okay, so you ain't gonna go that same day. You're gonna, you're gonna give it some time. It's like, all right, maybe tomorrow because I got my things to do. You go there tomorrow. You think, okay, they handed me flyers, so they got something going on. You go there and there ain't nothing going on. And it's like, fam, why would you, why would you hand this to me? Like, it's just a waste. Like, it's a waste of time, waste of paper. It's like, I don't need to be handed this. I'm like, here, you take it back. <laughs> I don't hand me no more stuff like that. But I'm saying, it, it's stuff like that. That's that's how I feel when people, when they come to, like, you know, my streams promoting themselves. Or, or let's say if it's a situation where it's like, it ain't even that. They, you know, they do that. They're promoting themselves. But, like, their streams or their music or whatever they're promoting is bad. I'm saying it's like, because it, here, like, you know, people overall have done that where it's like they've approached me and they'll try to find like a sneakier way of promoting their music. I've heard it and I'm like, fam, if you want me to be truthfully honest with you, and that's the thing where it's like, I hate being that person where it's like I'm downplaying a person's dream. But I feel like, you see, here's the thing, because I know people will be all like, well, what's the difference between me and that person? The thing is, is like, I've been that person where I had to like message my friends and uh overall you know try to get them to listen to my music or watch one of my videos or join my streams and the thing is is this if they want to do if they're gonna or if they want to show support they very they know where to find me i literally promote they've seen me out and about wearing t-shirts hats that says uh hoodies that says t moss bus i've been promoting that stuff ever since i was in high school if they very well wanted to join my streams or even other people, if they very well want to join my stream, guess what? They very if they're looking for my content, they they will search for it. But if they're not looking for my content, I'm not gonna go up to them, you know, uh like pause whatever they're doing in their life so they can take the time to check me out. No. I my thing is this. It's crazy when you see people promote themselves more in your place of business or wherever versus like actually just going out and promoting themselves the legitimate way like not you know you pausing a person in the middle of what they doing to promote them but no i'm saying like overall like i'm saying because there's so many different ways like to just talk on that real quick like because i know people will be like well how do you promote yourself okay with twitch streaming play games that people are going to be watching stream for long periods of times have a good unique name have challenges for yourself you know like what other things that you can do which go to other streamers and see the things that they do but it's like don't steal what they got going on but just get inspired by it that's the, like the whole reason of being a content creator or just even a creator of, of any form of work is that you have to be inspired by stuff. So it's like if you need to go out and just see like other streamers and how they streams or the games that they play or whatever or just, you know, see the things that they do, then it's like get inspired by it, add your spin um, to it, and then call it a day. Being a YouTuber, it's like, okay, same thing. You know, it's like post all the time. You know, get inspired by other creators. It's like, I mean, I feel like with YouTube, it's all like, uh, you, there ain't really no, uh, legitimate way of stealing, unless it's like, you're actually like stealing what that person is like doing. But like, if you're doing a video, right. And it's the same video as there. So like, let's say for an example, you reacted to the same try not to laugh challenges there as theirs. Don't mock everything that they say. Don't do everything that they're doing in that video. Do your own version of it. That's the whole reason of being a content creator is that you, the creator, is creating content for your, like, you know, I mean, like, it can be for yourself, but it's from you. It ain't from another person because you're just echoing what that person is saying. You don't want to be a person like that. Let's say, uh, what music, okay? Like, you want to be, um, a good musician, okay? If it's, uh, if it's, like, you know, overall, like, uh, like, rapping or singing, be, overall, be different from any other rapper or singer. Don't copy what they say. Don't copy what they do. Add your own spin to it. That, the advice that I gave you for being a Twitch streamer is literally universal advice that can go with just about anything possible. 
So it's like you have to be your own person. You have to, but it's like going to another person's place of business to promote yourself or even sneak promoting yourself or all like, hey, they, um, people are saying that I sound like the next Tupac and it's like only Tupac sounds like Tupac. You're going to sound like yourself. We know, we listen to Tupac. We know who Tupac is. We're listening to his music. We want to hear something different. We don't want to hear Tupac Jr. We want to hear who you are, Okay. So it's all like I'm saying it's it's stuff like that where it's all like we we're not we we're listening to Tupac already because that's like one thing that I don't get when people and they'd say that in the comment sections of like music blogs and stuff is when they're all like oh people are saying that I sound like the next Post Malone it's like okay well if that's the case then you're literally biting off of his style then. Like, honestly, sit down and just think about what you just say. Your people are saying that you're sound, that you sound like Post Malone. So you're obviously doing something. And it's like, it, it's one thing to have similar voices as him. But if you're purposely making music to sound just like his, like, fam, you're biting his style. Do something, like, different that hasn't been done before. It's possible. It is so possible. And it's like, if, you, if you're going to sit here and argue me saying it's not possible, I can't do I can't do No, you're just not inspired. You just, it's either that or you're not a, a creator. You're not a content creator, a music creator, a YouTube creator, Twitch creator, whatever form of creator out there that you want to like call yourself. You're not that type of creator. So like overall, you're going to have to find another line to work. But if you can sit down and come up with some unique stuff that hasn't been done before, fam, then you're a creator. It's possible. You have it. If you have that, my thing is what trips me out is when people, when they, you'll, you'll see them more in your comment sections, you'll see them more in your messages, you'll see them more in uh, your streams, wherever, versus, okay, let me just go out and create, do, like, just do what this creator is doing, where I'm wasting their time, but do what, instead of doing what they're doing, let me just go into their place of business and promote them. Like, I, man, I'm telling you, there is, it wasn't too long ago where a guy joined my stream to promote himself, and I was like, don't do that. And he was like, well, the reason, he was just like, I wasn't promoting myself. And then he goes on to say, well, the reason why I was promoting yourself is because you're an awesome streamer. See, it's things like that where it's like, fam, I, I try not to be that person that's rude. I try not to be that person. But it's like, I, I wanted to, like, kind of say some things to that guy. Like, how does that make any sense? And like, honestly, how does that make any sense whatsoever? Like, what, like, literally, what is your education level to where you say some stuff like that? Like, honestly, you have to look at a person and be all like, you, you really said that. Like, you, you really said that and you, in, in your mind, it makes sense to you. It makes no sense. I'm like, fam, you, you have to be a child. You have to be a child because if you're a person of age, it's all like, fam, I don't think even with a GED, that will be your answer. Like, I feel like, th this is what I feel like. If you are smart enough to get a GED, if you are smart enough to get a diploma, if you are smart enough to get a bachelor's degree or any form of a college degree, you gonna really sit down and say some things like that rather than just coming up? Like, if you sat down and took the time to come up with that, um, you know, create that answer for me. It's like, how come you can't create no roads or ways for yourself to promote yourself in a actual legitimate, like legitimate fashion? Instead, you're using my platform to promote yourself. Did I say that you can use my platform to promote yourself? No, I did not. You go on your own platform. You go on your own place of business and promote yourself. Cause that just, cause the funny thing is, is that Let's say, for an example, like they, you know, they get big and stuff. I did, but I just honestly, I think when people, when they do things like that, when they go to another person's, like, you know, place of business to promote themselves, I, I honestly don't think that they'll ever be great. They'll never reach that potential that they want to reach because they're so busy, worried about, oh, when's the next time T Boss Boss is streaming or posting a video or whatever, you know, so I can uh, promote myself. You're wasting all that time, but it's like, and you're not even, like, honestly, wasting time on yourself to promote yourself so it's like yeah i i don't see no potential in that person but it's like you're taking all that time right to you know to do that but it's like fam use that time and energy to post on like reddit post on youtube post on tiktok post on facebook i'm saying you ain't got to send these things out to people but it's like fam just post that stuff post it 
Post it like, you know, submit your uh, things to, or like if you're a musician, submit your music to a playlist. Uh, you know, like go in, but it's like be unique, be different. But like go, but don't don't be that person where you got to promote your stuff on an, uh, another person's um, platform. Because I'm like, that's that's not going to slide with that with that person or with his audience. Nobody in that crowd is there for you. They are there for that creator that you just joined uh, or whoever it is. It's like whether it's Twitch, YouTube, TikTok, whatever it is. It's all like they are there for that creator, not you. So it, it's it's stuff like that where it's all like, man, people, like, stop, stop doing that. It's all like, don't be that person where it's all like, oh, well, people are saying I sound like, I don't care. We don't care. Nobody cares, bro. It's like, my thing is this. If I go, because I, and the thing is, because I feel like people will try to, like, compare me to, like, stuff like that. So, no, here's the thing. Here's the difference between me and these people, and I'm going to end the episode after this. I can post you know, my videos, I can post my streams, I can post my TikTok videos, and people will search out of their way to find that stuff. I will add my own spin of whatever I'm working on, and people will go out of, that, out of their way to look for that stuff. I'm not going in Charlie D'Amelio's TikTok account so people can like my videos. There's no need for that. People are not there for t Bus. They're there for Charlie D'Amelio. So even if it's going out of my way to send my friends messages, I'll like the last thing that they if they, no, here's the thing. And if it's friends of mine, if they really wanted to show support and love to me, they know my name. I've been promoting the T my the T Moss boss names ever since I think I was, yeah, in uh high school. So it's like they they've been known that name. Uh what other um uh things that I can think of? uh youtube i'm all like you know it's like i post it if i'm posting a video if i'm posting a video it's like people will search they're gonna search for that video and if they come across it they come across it i'm not the, the thing is the whole idea of being a, a content creator is having attracting an audience not trying to pull in an audience and force them to listen to whatever or watch them whatever you got going on. It's all like no, you like you attract the audience. They're all like, oh no, like I, I gotta see what this person's all about, and then they go out and say like, fam, like this person can be like as big as um Post Malone, or they could be as big as any other. They can be a big time artist and stuff. But it's like, it, it's what people be doing today. I'm all like, man, get out of here with that. It's like, nobody's not here for that, so. But anyways, and that being said, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching and or listening. If you're viewing this on YouTube, make sure you like and subscribe. And if you're viewing this on the podcast sharing service, make sure you follow or subscribe, however it's set up. Make sure you subscribe to one of my 43 YouTube channels. Follow me on Twitter, TikTok, Twitch, and Instagram at TMozBoss. And make sure you follow my Facebook page at TMozBoss Fan Page. Also, if you're purchasing any tickets from SeatGeek, make sure you use my promo code TMozBoss. It would knock $20 off your first purchase. And then that being said, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching and or listening, and peace. Peace.